Today I'm going to be painting this Rumple doll Morphia. This doll belongs to someone who won my free face-up giveaway on my Instagram. Every 1,000 followers I do a giveaway uh, for one free face-up. So if you want to follow me on Instagram, and you can see when my next giveaway is. Okay, so I apply the blush heavily. And then I'll go over with my magic eraser to smoothen it out and lighten it so it looks more natural. Alright, so now I'm going to use my airbrush to apply some texturing to the face. This person wanted a realistic style face up, so I like to use my airbrush to make uh, spotty textures on the face that makes it look like skin, skin pores and things like that. So I'm using a watercolor pencil to add just a few little beauty marks here and there. Alright, so now I'm going to do the eyes, the eyeliner. Since it's a boy, I won't make this, this eyeliner so thick, just basically to uh, outline where the um, eyelashes would be. I always love painting um, interesting sculpts like this um, because it's different. It's not normal, uh, you know, my normal everyday kind of face up that I usually do. This one really makes you uh, look at it from a different angle and uh, basically lets me step out of my norm. Now it's on to the eyebrows. I'm using a mixture of brown and black pastels. Now I'm painting on the hairs for the eyebrows. I'm using a dark brown color. And I always like to extend the eyebrow hairs further than where I drew on the eyebrow base with the pastel because then I can feather it out with a magic eraser.
using the same color brown paint that I used for the eyebrows. I'm using for the lips as well. For the eyelashes. It's one of my favorite parts to do. I used to hate doing the eyelashes because I really sucked at it, but over the years I've gotten a lot better at it and it's always my favorite part. The eyebrows still give me issues sometimes. I'm not going to give him too much of a smoky eye, but I like to darken around the eyes just a little bit so it gives them more of a, a look, I guess. <laughs> And I always like to put blue in the middle by the uh, inner eye corners. Um, it just makes them look a little bit more lifelike. And now my second favorite part is to add the highlights. Um, I like to add white hairs in the eyebrows and the lower lashes just to give it a little bit of pop. Painting teeth on a doll is so nerve-wracking. You have to try and get it just on the teeth and watch where your brush is in case it touches any part of the lip. It's so hard to clean out if you mess up. <laughs> Luckily I didn't mess up this time, but usually I'll, I'll mess up. Alright, now I'm going to add a scar on his cheek. Um, this is a healed scar, so there's no blood or anything. Um, so I'm just going to make it darker than his skin. And then I'm going to add a, a highlight of white on top to make it look like it's uh, raised. And then after we'll go over it with some glue, which is just some water-based glue. I use a Mod Podge, um, and that makes it look even more raised. Once it's dried, it dries clear and matte, and then it looks like a healed scar.
for the eyelashes, the finishing touch. So I use uh, regular length eyelashes and I just cut them in half and I'll use one for each eye and measure them out first and make sure that they're the right length. still too long so I'm just gonna cut it a little more and it should fit this time. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please let me know if you prefer the commentary over me editing the text over the video. Um, I wanted to try this way to see if it was easier for everyone. It does take less time for me to do it this way than uh, adding the text. But let me know what you prefer in the comments. And I'll see you next time. Bye!